Hi guys. As you can tell, it is a lovely day here in North Georgia, between uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and Chattanooga, Tennessee, here on this beautiful Friday afternoon, uh, April 14th, 2023. It is 61 degrees in Georgia right now, and I hear it is 85 degrees in bright sun at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It's so great to be a snowbird. I'm trying to uh, enjoy the sick irony of this. So guys, I know how depressed you are. There will probably not be a Manga Bay Roundup uh, today. Uh, because I am on the road again here on I-75 northbound. Looks like I'm heading into a tornado right now. What a surprise. Heading into a tornado. So, uh, I'm just going to have to think of something to rant about off the top of my head. And, uh, not to beat a dying horse too, too much, you know. I, I'm just, uh, I, I guess my new rabbit hole inside the rabbit hole is just with each passing day, uh, just the, the recognition of, of the absolute joke of any of this unadulterated horseshit, uh, green energy revolution, the fossil fuel revolution, uh, you know, into this clean, green, save the planet energy as more and more people are, uh, you know, understanding that this entire, this entire, is it a meme? Is that what you would call this? A meme? A meme? Uh, about this uh, impossible uh, <laughs> energy revolution uh, in this country and on this planet and more and more people pointing out ain't gonna happen. It is not going to happen. It is a violation of the law of physics and so Anyway, yesterday I crossed, I, I mentioned in that rant yesterday that I have actually crossed the line now. Uh, as more and more and more of this uh, information becomes available, uh, I, I am actually of the opinion now that the fossil fuel uh, e economy is less of a threat <clears throat> to the planet than what they're talking about. That uh, this, you know, the cure being worse than the disease. But of course, you know, as, as I was saying yesterday, when Fox News, uh, when, when when Fox News and Truth Dig. Uh, or Fox News and Resilience.org start uh, sounding the same, you should pay attention. But of course, uh, you know, there is a critical difference uh, between Fox News and, on one side and Truthdig and Resilience.org on the other, uh, as more and more of these lefties understand that the uh, cure being proposed uh, is every bit as bad and now I would say worse than the disease it's trying to cure is the, the difference is, is is that the clueless morons on the right you know the Fox News listeners in the US or the Telegraph readers over there in the UK or whatever they think that, uh, that this, you know, that climate change uh, it is is a hoax, and, uh, and you know that fossil fuels 
are, are posing no threat against this planet, blah, 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 drill, baby drill. Uh, you know, just bring on the fossil fuels, which is exactly what Joe Biden is doing. Uh, he is giving those right-wing Trump tards everything uh, they wanted. Uh, so, <clears throat> the clueless morons on the right are, are the ones who are cheerleading the, uh, the fossil fuel business as usual model while pointing out that the switch to clean green energy uh, is BS. And then you have the clueless morons, uh, generally on the left, the little greeny lefties. You know, I call them the AOC gang, although, of course, Joe Biden is part of the same gang, uh, who uh, understand correctly that fossil fuels will kill the planet. Uh, and, but they think that this clean green energy revolution, which is never going to happen, uh, is just going to roll on out and uh, everything's going to be hunky-dory. They're both equally clueless. We have, uh, we, we have the clueless morons on the right uh, denying uh, the frying pan. And now we have these clueless morons on the left, every bit as guilty as the clueless morons on the right, denying the fire that we're getting ready to jump into if we jump out of the frying pan. But of course, you know, anybody who hooks up with one of their teams on the right or left, so if you point out correctly, that the clean green energy revolution is a recipe for ecological disaster and the collapse of a planet every bit as bad and now I would say even worse than the fossil fuel industry. You voice, you voice that uh, opinion out there and you will be, you know, accused of being a right-wing Trump tart, or I guess so you could almost say Biden tart at this point, uh, you know, drill baby drill supporter. And then, of course, if you point out correctly that fossil fuels, uh, the business as usual, fossil fuel uh, mode of thinking is, is going to kill the planet also. If you point that out, then you are one of these clueless moron little green lefties supporting the bullshit uh, Green New Deal. That uh, it, it's just people, you know, people, this is why doomers are, are, are so despised. We piss off everybody because we are the, we're the only people out there with the balls that, to point out that it is a choice between the frying pan and the fire. Uh, it makes no difference. We stay in the frying pan and we're going to cook ourselves in the planet. We jump out of the frying pan into the fire. Uh, and then, of course, through, through these few little conspiracy wackos, you know, talking about all of this free energy bullshit, all of the, this various forms, how free energy uh, it, it, it is available to us and how the nefarious they are hiding all of this free energy. Uh, and, of course, they are probably the most clueless morons of them all because even if free energy did exist, uh, if, if 8 billion uh, of us clueless moron planet-eating naked apes truly were given uh, free energy, uh, you would see this planet destroyed uh, 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 you know, even more quickly 
it, it would be worse than the frying pan or the fire. The single worst thing uh, for this planet that I can imagine it is uh, a form of, quote, free, limitless uh, energy. You talk about watch a planet disappear, get rid of fossil fuels, and get rid of all of this other crap that we're killing the planet with, and replace it with some sort of pixie dust. Uh, and uh, you will see a planet disappear. So we've got the frying pan, we've got the fire, we, we've got the uh, mythical burning pits of hell. Uh, the, these free energy clueless morons uh, are, are, are worse uh, than the other two camps of clueless morons put together. Uh, you know, as that article was pointing out yesterday in resilience.org, just like the one in Truthdig, uh, we are not going to uh, approach this, uh, you know, the collapse of a planet and the potential extinction of the human race, we're not going to approach this from the supply side. Uh, it, it has got to come from the demand side. And there's absolutely no way that uh, that humans are going to voluntarily uh, reduce their consumption. Ain't gonna happen. Uh, I have spent $1,400 at Amazon.com and eBay uh, in, in the past 24 hours, most of which was on a, you know, a giant solar-powered battery for uh, my tiny house. Uh, you know, unplugging from the grid uh, in one of my little cabins, going off grid, and what am I doing? Uh, I, I'm buying one of these giant solar batteries with all of this crap in it. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> there. There is one way to uh, lower the demands on this planet. It is not going to happen from uh, humanity uh, voluntarily lowering their environmental footprint. Ain't gonna happen. Uh, ain't gonna happen. Uh, for every one person uh, lowering their environmental footprint, you know, there's a million Indians and uh, all the rest of them uh, with their environmental footprint uh, growing bigger and bigger and bigger every year. Uh, it's just, it, it's absolutely insane. The one way to do this is to lower the demand by, you know, getting rid of humans. It's that simple. There is no such thing uh, as 8 billion humans. And all of this crap uh, about how that this planet is losing people. Uh, you know, once the planet's population gets uh, down to 500 million, uh, we can have that conversation. Uh, a planet of 8 billion people is overpopulated 16 times over. Once we get rid of 15 out of 16 people, uh, and so, anywho's heading into the bottleneck, you know, all of these articles that I'm reading about this, where more and more people uh, understanding uh, what, uh, you, you know, the trap that humanity has laid for itself and the planet, you still, I mean, this word overshoot, the word bottleneck, uh, it's never mentioned. And overpopulation is almost never mentioned, even in these stories that I've been reading. They're still 
uh, you know, even the people who understand uh, the frying pan versus the fire uh, conundrum we're in uh, are still talking uh, that, that humans are, are going to voluntarily uh, reduce their demands on this planet. Uh, nobody is, is, is talking, uh, e even in these articles, uh, and, and the little lefties are every bit as guilty of that as the right-wingers. Nobody wants to admit what the problem on this planet is. There's too goddamn many people on this planet. And uh, since we're not going to voluntarily uh, get those numbers down to 500 million, uh, we're going to have this thing called a bottleneck. We're overshooting ourselves right into this bottleneck. Uh, we are in the, you know, in the upper shoulders of the bottle, heading into the neck, and uh, it, it, it's how anyone can deny this. Uh, that this planet cannot tolerate us anymore. Uh, and the planet is going to figure out a way to get our numbers down. Since we're not going to do it ourselves, uh, th this planet uh, is, is going to do it for us. And uh, the only two questions, well, I guess three questions, there's that question of when. <clears throat> Uh, the answer to the when, when is it going to happen, it's happening now, is the, que is the answer to that question. But of course, the, uh, the, the human-centric question in all of this is how many people are coming out the other side of the bottleneck. Is it going to be 500 million humans or is it going to be zero? And uh, of course, I'm rooting for zero coming out of this. And then, of course, the, the more important question than how many humans are coming out of this bottleneck is how many of our fellow Earthlings are, are coming out of this bottleneck. Uh, I mean, that's the, that's the tragedy in all of this, is uh, how many of our fellow Earthlings uh, are we going to send into oblivion while we are getting rammed through our uh, well-deserved, overdue bottleneck? Uh, so anyway, but as long as Amazon.com is and eBay are out there selling me solar panels full of rare earth metals uh, I'm gonna be any like any other clueless moron and buy them oh boy anyway looks like the sun is coming out over the collapse Get out there and enjoy sunrise over the collapse before sunset catches you with your uh, with your pants down, as it were. I'm gonna get out there and do my part to prevent the uh, planet killing green clean energy revolution by continuing to burn fossil fuels out my tailpipe. There we go. You go. Uh, boy. Onward into the frying pan. Oh no, we have a Bucky's. I did not realize Bucky's had moved to Georgia. Yep. Bucky's has now taken over Georgia. <laughs> oh boy. Pan.
pedal to the metal. Bucky's, here I come. Bye guys.